Okay, so part two, the drills for working on transition and speed. I, I just want to give you a little demonstration here. If I take this right here and I move it like this, you can see how fast this is moving and how easy it is. I'm not putting much effort into it because I'm using my wrist. Now if I don't use my wrist, now I got to use my arms and this is a lot of work and it doesn't go very fast again. So you, in order to create speed, you have to use your wrist. And so when you take it back, you've, obviously we've got to have some hinge to our wrist to have something to uncock it. Okay, so a drill you can do, several drills. The first one is take a club upside down, make a backswing, and practice swishing the club to impact and stop. So it looks like this. Okay, so you're going to go as fast as you can and you're going to break, but don't let the club pass you. So it's a lot like uh, cracking the whip again. When I do that, I have a braking action. So I'm going to take it back and I'm going to do that and I'm going to practice getting rid of that. If I had tape on my fingertips, I'd try to flick it off like this. Okay, so I'm really trying to get some acceleration and stop. All right, next one, you take some golf balls. This is a great drill right here. You set up to a ball on the ground in your normal setup position. Take the ball in your right hand, take it back. You can actually take your left hand, put it on your right shoulder, take it back and fire the ball at the ball on the ground. Now notice I hit that, okay? Hit it again. So most people are surprised that I can hit it, but that's what my normal golf swing is. I'm accelerating the, the club head right into the back of the ball. So you should be able to hit the ball probably three out of five times. And the other thing I want you to notice about this drill is I don't use my hips and shoulders. So what I'm doing here is I'm training my arms to fire without my body. So I'm using my body as resistance and I'm, I'm learning how to accelerate my arms, which most people don't do again. They have too much tension. They use their shoulders too much. Okay, so that would be another good drill to work on. Then take your arm, hold it straight out. Take the club upside down again, hold it on the shaft, take it back and swish it and go all the way through this time but make sure that when you come all the way through that the club shaft goes up between your neck and shoulder. Don't let it come around like this. Okay, so I'm going to swish that like that. Notice my hips turn, but my shoulders don't. That's why I hold my arm out here because I don't want this motion. I want you to be able to keep the shoulders there, swish the arms through. Okay, one last drill you can do is you can actually hit golf balls where you just make swings and you come through and stop right here. And notice my shoulders didn't turn again. So what we're doing by this is we're, that really works on the transition of getting the arms down before the body starts to unwind and starts to throw the club over the top and all the bad things that happen. So if you can practice these drills, start getting loose in your arms where you can get some freedom and get some acceleration because Loose muscles are fast muscles, tight muscles are slow. If you can do that, you're going to hit it a lot farther. You're going to have a lot better impact position. It's going to be a lot more fun.